You're listening to episode 915 of the Father Bills Podcast. Welcome back. This episode is entitled A Charlie Brown Ash Wednesday, given on, you guessed it, Ash Wednesday 2024. Well, blessed to you on this Ash Wednesday. Or is it Valentine's Day? I think it's Valentine's Day. When we think about Valentine's Day, and when we even see this image of a heart, we have sensibilities of passion, of romance, of love. And certainly those are parts of love. But see, it's not just Valentine's Day, is it? Actually, it's Ash Wednesday. And so we still have this image of a heart, not just piercing through like Cupid, but a crown of thorns. See, this image gives us an other side. We have the side of romance, but we have the side of sacrificial, unconditional love. And whenever we live that out, it hurts. And in fact, isn't that what we were called to do during Lent? Well, during Christmas, I gave a story about Charlie Brown. Well, did you not know that there was a Be My Valentine Charlie Brown? And Charles Schultz, the theologian that he is, had some great thoughts to be shared. So I'd like to offer a reflection. The story goes like this. Charlie Brown is waiting for the redhead girl to send him a valentine's in the mailbox and it never comes and it never comes and he's just feeling bad she doesn't have a liking for him apparently so then they go to the school and then they have all their valentine's cards everybody's written them out they put them into a box and then one by one schroeder starts calling out names sally lucy pig pen through it all charlie brown's name is never called in fact, at the very end of it all, he's like, isn't there one for me? Schroeder says, no, there isn't. But as a consolation here, Schroeder brings to him a bag or a, 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 a container with his little hearts, his little candy hearts. How nice of Schroeder, right? So he picks up, Charlie Brown picks up that heart. He turns around and reads, forget it, kid. <laughs> he's still cannot catch a break no matter what he does how does this happen that's a little bit random but the giving of those valentine cards were not random that was a demonstration of the consequences of conditional love conditional love is if i like you then i'll do whatever i want i will love you if you have certain things qualities about you i will give you my heart if you say nice things to me, I will be friends with you, etc., etc. Just fill in the blanks. If, fill in the blank, then I will love you. This is the equation for conditional love. But we're not called to give conditional love. Therefore, I might offer this as a Lenten observance to recognize what condition, unconditional love really is about. Unconditional love. What did Christ not give away? He gave all of himself away. And he continues to give himself to us in the Eucharist. So what can we do? How can we live out this unconditional love? Not in a Valentine's conditional way, but in an unconditional way. Pray. Fast. And give alms. Choose these things. But don't do it for the kickback. And as we hear in the gospel, don't do it for uh, the sake of being seen. You may be seen, but you're not doing it to be seen. Do you see the difference? That is, when we live our life, we live it. It will be seen, but if we're doing it to be seen, the reward has been given to us, and that's it. Whatever grace that was there has then been taken out because we've done it for ourselves. So listen, whatever your practice might be, 
consider how is this going to help others? How is it going to show unconditional love, God is love, unconditional love for others? That means we hear in the scriptures to rend our hearts. It's kind of a, that tearing of our hearts. That's what we have in the image of that sacred heart image. The heart is pierced by thorns. Another way of looking at it is just change our hearts. This is what we need to do during Lent. Mother Church gives us this time, gives us guidance. So if you haven't thought about a practice during Lent, you've already started it because you're here. This is a great way to start rending your hearts so that in your Lenten practice, you will be the person you're called to be. For love is true love when it has no conditions. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Father Bills Podcast. Well, you might want to go to our, our YouTube page to see this, this actual homily because I do use slides and there's just a couple images that refer to a Charlie Brown Valentine's Day and also images of a heart and a sacred heart, etc. And that might help in the understanding of what I'm referring to. I, though I try to paint the picture by speaking about it, it might be a little bit better. So go to, go to YouTube, look up Holy Trinity Beaverton, and there you can find on Ash Wednesday this homily. In the meantime, may God bless you and have a great week. Bye-bye.